Who are sharp guys, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So this is Antonelli from Westport, New Bridge Street. I'm Anne-Marie Blake, the store manager, and this is my colleague Pamela, Pamela Flanagan. Hello. So Pamela's been here since day one. So well, we know Pamela, working. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it seems everybody knows Pamela. <laughs> it's yeah, great good. to have her on board. It's a lovely shop. It's the happy shop. And we love to see the children coming in, even if they want one of... 800 sweets or more that we have here so it's really great we've got some fabulous stuff here something to suit everybody's palates and where does the shop come from anyway how does it all start off yeah. so the owner is david jordan he's originally from ballina so he lives in cork now so he originally set the shop up in cork so he started with just one little antonelli shop in cork and his business partner james has an antonelli and that's where it comes from and since then the business has just grown and grown for him so there's 14 shops in ireland at the moment and he's ever thinking about expanding so they hope to set up an antonelli's food, food emporium which would be that they would serve food as well as just have the seat shop and then also he'd like to expand to the united states as well so do they make any of the sweets themselves or get them made there we have them made so we have suppliers so we have suppliers in Wicklow so we have that would make them for us so we would produce then in the store what we would have them sent in from suppliers so mostly Irish suppliers would have for all our seats so from Wicklow we have as well less fudge from pork and we have a lot of and he's very good in go down the line here and find out yeah, what's so yeah, yeah. what have we got here so these are D&D Cromley, so these are Irish made traditional drinks, so you have your pink lemonade, elderflower, pear juice type drinks like that, so they're very good, nice traditional drinks. Then as well for Irish, we also have uh, Wicklow Fine Foods, so they make the caramel waffles, they also have the chocolate garden, uh, as well we have cat races in Irish brand, and these would be our Auntie Nelly's own brand chocolates as well, so they're made as well. selection behind the counter. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we have like the traditional jars. So it's great to see people come in young and old. So the kids are all kind of finding out what they, what they like now. So it's always raspberry bonbons. But then you'll have grown-ups coming in and they're always kind of thinking, what did they have when they were young? So they're remembering <laughs> apple drops and bulls on. Second childhood. Yeah, exactly. So it is. It's great to see them. They come in. So got liquids. They've got liquids. Oh, I have liquids. Yeah. To be the band down here. In here, and so we have selection. Yeah. And we, we got the liquors there. Uh, like Dutch salty liquors, all the way right up to your torpedoes. So if you remember your torpedo, that's my favourite. Liquors. Okay. You like the liquors? Like yeah, yeah, I love it as well. Even just the all sorts of lovely. So we have an official opening tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so we're having an official opening. So from one o'clock onwards, I have face painter coming in. We're going to have some games and competitions. So we're hoping to see everybody come and join us. Uh, there's a couple of the guys from Westbrook United are coming. They've been very gracious and they're going to do the official ribbon cutting for me. So I'm delighted to have them on board. I'm delighted that local people are on board for it because like, it's, I suppose it's easy enough to do well in the summer with tourists. But in a business like this, you need local support to have it, you know, to have it going well through the quiet times and through the winter and everything like that. So everybody locally has been fantastic.